Hello. I'm going to do a pineapple upside down cake in my Pampered Chef cast iron. I haven't used this yet, but I read the instructions and it's already seasoned, so all I done is washed it and dried it. So we're gonna make a pineapple upside down cake in this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I have my induction cooker here. Let me see if I can show you that. I'm gonna put this up on the induction cooker. Okay. And then I'm just gonna turn it on and we're going to melt one stick of butter. That's half a cup. This is real butter. And I'm just going to melt that in there for the up pineapple upside down cake. So it'll be done in my iron skillet. And then I will put it in the oven. But you first, we want to just take the butter and kind of make it go around in there. Sometimes people like bake, you know, put it in there and then bake it. It's better to just take your butter, get it around in that pan. And this is a half a stick. Is it? I'm going to do the pumpkin next, but I had to get done with the chocolate when I froze some of it because Tom and I just can't eat that much cake but it'll be good because it's in little uh, containers and if we get a chocolate fix scrub it out there but since I said I was doing pineapple upside down that's what I'm going to do I've got another idea for a lemon cake like I done my last one, but doing something else to it to make it like a lemon cream cake. So we'll see. But anyway, that butter, let me show you here, if I can reach you. So I got that butter in there. Now I'm just going to take a cup of um, brown sugar packed throw that in there okay I'm gonna stir that around in there I don't want that too high because I just want it to kind of get melted Amy I've got an awesome recipe I done the lemon cake on live but I thought of something else today that I've never done as an add-on to that lemon cake, and I think I'm really gonna try it. I don't think this pineapple upside down cake will last long, so I won't, it won't be long. <laughs> so see all that nice creamy half a stick of butter, or no, a half a cup of butter, which is one stick of butter and a cup of brown sugar. So what we're gonna do, now that we've, we, we, we just wanna cook that just a minute, you know, just to make sure that sugar is caramelized and melted in there. Make sure that's cooked in there really good. And I've just got my induction cooker on 200, so it's, see it bubbling? Just gonna bubble up a little bit, cause I want that to cool down while we make the cake. And if you don't have a recipe for the cake part, I could send you one, but I'm gonna doctor my cake, uh, cake mix in a box up just like I do usually to make it like a bakery cake or a better, richer cake. So see, we're gonna turn that off now. Just get it to where it's bubbling and you see that sugar and butter kind of marrying in there together. Give it one more stir. 
And I bought this uh, iron skillet off of Pampered Chef off of my oldest daughter. And I received it in the mail last week. So I'm going to go ahead and make, because I've been wanting one with two handles on it. And this has got handles on each side. So it's a perfect size, perfect size for cobblers. And Okay, now it's time to turn that off, Pam. And let that sit there and kind of marry in together. Let me get you back over here. And now I'm just going to make the cake up, which uh, today also I was delivered my little paring knife from Pampered Chef. I order things off my friends when they sell, and I needed a little paring knife, which I've got one from Tupperware coming. It's just not here yet. So I stuck it back in that thing after I washed it and everything. But um, with the cake, I'm going to use my Tupperware Power Chef, as always, while that, that brown sugar and butter smells like caramel. Let me get this open so I can have it ready. So what I'm going to do first you know, the, the recipe is Betty Crocker calls for three eggs and half cup oil and all that. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to do four eggs. Because I want this to be a bakery type like I always do. I think I've done a live video a long while back and showed you how to do the bakery type cake. makes it more I don't know how to explain it you'd have to make it to see hi Shirley hi Vicki hi Amy hi Fiona hi everybody I can't see everybody but it keeps going up and up so we'll do this which my husband last night he lost a second cousin and it was kind of a sudden thing, and so he's in there laying down, and I thought I'd go ahead and make this cake. after I cleaned the house up and everything today, and whatever. So keep that family in prayer, you know. So then mix the eggs up, and then I'm going to go ahead and just throw this butter in here like that because it's softened. And I talked to my mom on the phone. We talked for a little while. She's doing good. For 90, she sure does, almost 90, she sure does get a lot done. So I'm gonna mix that up a little bit in there. Thank you. I will tell him, Fiona. It's just weird because he's got one cousin that just passed away, and he's got another cousin that is really bad off. And it's just one of them times in his family where, you know, they go through that and stuff. Of course, all families do, but he was up real early this morning, and he went to lay down. He asked me if I needed him for anything, and I said, well, yeah, I do. He said, what do you need me to do? And I said, well, nothing. I just need you. And he said, well, I'm going to go lay down. So he went to lay down for a while. Apple or a pineapple upside down cake when he gets up. So I'm going to try to get some juice. Now, I don't have the rings, pineapple rings. I don't, I don't know if you've all done this. You look right at the pineapple rings and you take and grab the crushed. I've done it so many times it is not funny. So that's got a little ring tip on it. So I'm gonna try to get some 
juice out of this so I'll know how much milk I want to put in that cake. You can't see a thing I'm doing. So I'm just going to try to squeeze all the juice I can out of that. Okay, now what's going to really make this cake good is lemon, okay? Lemon. Let me get my lemon. I want to put a little bit of grated lemon in this first. Just in your cake mix, just put a little bit of lemon in that pineapple cake mix and it gives it some kind of a little spark. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm not going to overdo it, but I'm going to do about, oh, I would say not quite a half a teaspoon of lemon zest in there. And then I'm going to cut this lemon in half. And put a little bit of lemon juice in the thing. Just a little bit. So i got to see how far I'm going up here. Okay. I don't want to put too much in. Okay. So that's enough. Now that's about a half a cup of um, the pineapple juice and lemon juice. I'm just gonna put that in there for the flavor and the lemon zest. Mm. Nothing like a good punch of lemon. Mm. Woo wee. That's good. I love it. It's cold and fresh. And so I'm going to put, I put a half a cup of the juice and now I'm just going to put a half a cup of milk because it only calls for a cup of um, liquid. If I wait too long, it'll make buttermilk. <laughs> So that's going to give the next a little good flavor is putting that lemon in with that little bit of milk. Let me stir up my brown sugar. I'm going to keep that warm, so I need to turn that back on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the yellow cake mix in all with all the goodies that we've added. Smells amazing. Let me wipe up my mess. I just done a big bunch of dishes and went into my pantry and washed all the shelves off and earlier today and tried to put my Tupperware where it needed to be so I could find it. to do this. You'd be surprised how good this cake would be with just that little added extra, okay? And I always like to just suck around on a cold half of a lemon while I'm doing this stuff. It gives you that perk in your brain. So see that got kind of tight now. And I wasn't on yesterday. Um, I don't think at all, maybe not too much because I was uh, speaking last night at church and I wanted to do some study and prayer. And it went very well. Let me heat that back up a little bit. That butter's trying to 
separate just a, a little bit. So we got our cake mix. And I'll just go ahead and give it a good stir here with my spatula. If I beat this too long, the dog will, our little dog will wake my husband up and try to tell him somebody's out here. She can hear so good. My mom came down and stayed with us for a few days and we left and she said every car that backed in your driveway to pull out because we're on dead end, she barked and crazy about. But when our car pulled in, she never said a word. She just sat and waited. Our dog is a really smart little dog. Very well trained and spoiled and So this, this is really nice and creamy, and it's thick. I like it thick. Mm. Mm. What did I do with it? Did I drop it? Pam, what did you do with it? Oh, there it is, over by you guys. I'm going to put just a little more of the lemon zest in it, okay? It's better to do this before you cut it. Just a little more because I'm not tasting it enough. And that's probably... So you want to put... That's not even a half a teaspoon, but I'm going to throw it in there. Mix that up real good. Get this mixed up a little bit. This is going to be a very good cake. And I hope I can open these cherries after getting my, and I don't have the ring, so I'm going to have to use the, oh boy, Pamela, oh boy, ah, I did it, and we'll just kind of throw just a little bit of that cherry juice in, you don't have to, but it's going to kind of combine the flavors of everything. So now I'm getting this mixed up, and the next step will be, and, and sometimes I go backwards on this and don't do it right. <laughs> One time I done a demonstration for my Tupperware um, stack cooker for pineapple so upside down cake, and I forgot to put the cherries on it. So I put them on last and poked them down in there with a stick. I thought that was funny. How did I forget that? So I'm going to try to do it right this time. I'm not sure. So we got that mixed up good. And we'll take, see, on the induction cooker, I can still hold this. It's not really hot. It just cooks in one area. So now, I'm going to take this melted... yummy, caramel-like stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Vicki. Oh, that's right. Are you doing the, are you doing protein shakes or something? So, we're going to go ahead. I used to do the, one of them protein shakes just save that juice to put back in there. Okay, now I'm going to take some cherries. I don't have an extra. And I'm just going to put all over this because I love cherries. Mm. It's so funny because I love cherries. And sometimes I'd take my grandchildren to get like a drink and they'd put whipped cream cherry on top. And I'd get mine, I was looking forward to that cherry. And one of them would say, Grandma, can I have your cherry? 
your cherry on top of your whipped cream there. And I'm like, okay, you can have my, my cherry to look at and eat. <laughs> you know how they stick it right on top of that. But I like a lot of cherry. These kind. And I like the uh, bean cherries. I like to eat them. Just eat them out of the package. They're good for pain. Bean cherries is. Very good for pain. Ten of them and it works good. My, my sister told me that in California and my mother told me. Okay, so now I've got way too many cherries in here and I'll show you. See, whole bunch of cherries. I am never afraid to add extra ingredients. Matter of fact, I do it so much in things that sometimes I will actually almost ruin a recipe because I add stuff to it. So now we'll put the pineapple. And like I said, I don't have rings, but I've got crushed pineapple and I love the crushed pineapple on it anyway, but it was an honest mistake on my part for picking this one up. That's what you call a good mistake. So I'm just gonna cover that over the top and then I'll show you. It's not going to hurt just to throw all that down in there. It's not going to hurt it a bit. So see, I think i done this right now. <laughs> I put the brown sugar and the cherries are underneath. And now the all that pineapple goodness on top of all that other stuff that we put in there. Whoops, I turned you around. I gotta tell you, so that's all ready. It's all melted in there and my fingers are red from cherries. Um, my husband and I was watching the old Dennis the Menace the other night. We laughed and laughed. I said, oh, wouldn't it be awful to be a kid, uh, a neighbor to that kid, <laughs> like Mr. Wilson. And uh, last night after we got home from church, I said, what do you wanna watch? You wanna watch McCoy's or Dennis the Menace? He said, well, could we watch Cops or something? He said, uh, not, something not so nerve-wracking. And I, in my mind, I was, I didn't say anything, but in my mind, I was thinking, I think Cops would be more nerve-wracking, <laughs> but we watched that instead. He loves Cops. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on top now. This thick, it's still thick after all we put in it. See that luscious, good cake that we put in there. He's going to have him a nice cake after a while. I don't know about you guys, but I'll just sit around and think of ways to, to switch things up, make it, you know, to fit what we like. And you don't have to go by the book, you know. don't have to do it the way everyone does it. So let me get this over there. Yes, I do too, Sue. I, I, I kind of like it better that way. You know how someone will just go up and take one of the pineapples and eat it in the rings? They're not going to do it this. It's like taking that cherry on top of my drink and my whipped cream. So this is a full deal here. 
So what I'm going to have to do is I got the oven ready. What I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to take this and kind of I hope I don't wake the dog. Oh, she's going to hear it anyway. Wait a minute. Let me put it on this. I'm going to take and pack that down just a little bit in there. My mom taught me how to make the best fudge, and she told me after you get done with the fudge, make sure you pull it up and drop it 10 times. So every time I make fudge for Christmas, I drop it 10 times and pack that in there real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, but I'm gonna put something under it just in case, because I know how messy I can be. And my husband just cleaned all my burners. When he gets a little nervous, he starts getting the thing like cleaning burners and stuff he don't usually do. So uh, when I come back with it, um, see how long we're supposed to put that in there. I'll probably just put it in there. It says 28 to 33, but I'm going to try it in probably about 20, 22 minutes. And then when I get back, we're going to have to find something to flip this thing on. So in the meantime, while this is cooking and baking in the oven, I'm going to go find something big enough to, to where I can switch this over uh, when it gets done. So I hope you're all doing great today. Um, I know you're probably all doing different things today. And um, I really don't know what else to say. We'll see you later and we'll do the taste test for you. So God bless you all. Have a very good evening. Give everybody hugs from, from me to you. And I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, but maybe sometime in the evening, my husband gave up something of his to give to draw names. So we'll draw that name for that item and then get it sent out, okay? God bless you. It's Tupperware too. So God bless you. I love you all.